Hi, friends. Got a box of Throne of Our Drain and a box topper. I'm going to open this because I've had a weekend, a very long weekend, and I deserve some shiny cardboard. Cardboard, some of which are shiny. <clears throat> Alrighty. We have a Throne of El Dream set booster box. Open one of these in a while, not since um, or will be one. We have Sir Ginger scanned it, discover the coolest cards. No thanks, I am instead just gonna open them. Okay, let's just get a stack and get to it. So, I guess this will be my um, rare and my rare and mythic pile. Not gonna bother actually trying to rip it because I'm bad at it. All right, we have a food token. Oh, this is cute. It's kind of like a Metroid, I guess, the reverse Metroid. Um, we have Rowan riding a horse. This is very pretty. I guess this is my odd card pile. And our food. Is this the rare? Yes, gumdrop poisoner. No, this is not a rare. Yes, it is a rare. It's hard to tell with the um with the foil. A vampiric rights. Sacrifice a creature, you gain one life and draw a card. Oh, I should look at the gumdrop poisoner. Can make a food token, and then it's got lifelink and when it ETBs. Oh, something gets minus X minus X, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. That's cool, because I am building a Golgari life gain type deck. Um, this is going to be my token pile. This is my the Watt pile, the enchantment pile. Hashing plans. Hatching plans, not hashling plans. When it's... Put into a graveyard, draw three cards. Nice. Talion! Yay! Mythic in the first pack. Talion, Talion, Talion. Do you choose two or three? Let's see. Can I get a better focus? There we go. Good enough. Um, Two-headed hunter. Target creature gains double strike. Uh, this is kind of like that axe thing from Bold Escape. And with Menache. This is my red. I'm gonna put my scissors out of frame. <clears throat> Boundary Lance Ranger. Beginning of combat in your turn. If you can control a creature with power 4 greater, you can discard a card if you do draw a card. Okay. Monstrous Rage. Plus 2 plus 0. Oh, monster Row Token. So plus 1 plus 1 and Trample. That's nice. That's nice. A 1 mana essentially Trample Token. Shatter the Oath at instant. Anyway, Shatter the Oath. Destroy creature enchantment. Create a wicked world. Ariette's Whisper. Target opponent discards two cards and created a wicked world attached up to one creature you control. Not building a, um, never going to build a, what's her name? The, the god, the spooky lamp lady from Kaldheim deck. But if I did, this would be in it. Pathetic. Proth prothetic prism, not pathetic prism. Kellyan's light blades. Kellyan's light blades. Bargain. It deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature if it was bargain. Destroy that creature instead. Okay, that's that's real flexible. I like that. And we have a full art foil swamp. Yay! That's not bad for the first pack. I mean the um the enchantment was. Not the best, but Italian. We get a food, this time an eye porridge. Mm -mm. Sna Snare Master Sprite. When it ETBs, you may pay two. If you do, tap target creature and puts a stun counter on it. Okay. 
I this may go in my um in my uh what go what's her name Goldberry proliferate karmic justice I believe that's a rare whenever a spell ability an opponent controls destroy a non creature permanent you control you may destroy target permanent that opponent controls that includes a land so it'll always hit. Fall Spain Shrill. When it ETBs, create a monster row attached to it, sack an aura attached to it for one, and it fights something you don't control. Okay, cool. Theriad of the Char Apple. Yes. This is the commander, one of the two commanders, one of the two legendaries in this set that I want to build around. So, yay, I pulled, uh, I pulled an alt art for her. Each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can't attack your planeswalkers you control. And at the beginning of your end step, you drain for X, where X is the number of auras you control. Um, Amber Veteran, sack it, create a young hero token, attach your target creature. Oh, it, it's the sensei. It's the, fa it's the parent figure that dies in a young hero's journey. Emo Dane's recruiter, so not the lesbian herself. Okay, you can get night tokens, and also it pumps your creatures until the end of turn. Gallant Pie Wielder. Celebration with Double Strike. Not dead after all. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. Rhyme for Reindeer. When an enchantment ETBs, tap target creature an opponent controls. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Ice Elf, bargain, counter target spell. Interesting. That's a pretty terrible rate, I guess, for a counter spell. But, I mean, yeah, actually, you know what? Um, it's, it's a better version of the common Neon Dynasty, um, one blue blue counter spell. Because that one, you have to sack a... You have to sack an artifact for the cost reduction. This you can sack an artifact enchantment or token. So it's just it's just a strict upgrade. Um, Kindred heroism, target creature gets plus one and gains first strike until end of turn. Scribe one. I would rather a drew one, but whatever. A forest. And what's this? Oh, it's it's the giant lady that will step on you. Nice. And that's only two packs so far. Many more packs to go. 22 to be precise. Do, 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 do. Yeah, come on. And pull. A rat! Oh, look at this rat. It has a berry and it can't block. Um, speaking of rats, or oh, Flitterfang. Oh, Flitterfang. At the beginning of each cut and stop, if a creature dies this turn, make a food token. Two and a black. Sack, an sack another creature or artifact, and it gets plus two, plus two. That's an expensive sack outlet. But anyway, Raid, raid Bombardment. Yes. Yes, Raid Bombardment. I love Raid Bombardment. Oh, wait. I just realized this is this is the anime art comic justice. Nice. Spellbook vendor vigilance. At the beginning of combat of your turn, you may pay one. If you do, create a sorcerer to road token. This is going into um Ariet and or any other aura deck. Ooh ooh ooh. Obrira, Obr Obira, I don't know, Obira, uh, Obira, like Oberon? I'm dreaming, Duelist, nice. I guess I have a multicolor pile now. Shrug of Midnight, it's the, it's like an elephant, except you get a 1-1 one, one white human. Okay, not bad. Ash, who is totally not Cinderella, the party crasher. Religion of the Bar, Celebration, Conceited Witch, Create a Wicked Road Token, and also Menache. Torch the Tower, 
Culture Tower deals 2 damage to target creature of Planeswalker with Spoggin, and you deal 3 and Squire 1. Okay. Return Triumphant. Return target creature code, blah, 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 blah. Oh, 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 3 or less, and then you you add a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Ooh, okay, that is, that is nice. Frostbridge God, Frostbridge God. Uh, two and a white tap top tap to tap target creature, a nice forest. And what's our odd card? It is, uh, is that a toad? Well, who is this? Spiteful hex mage. Time for pack number four. IDK. I think this is four. Here's our one of our row tokens, monster and sorcerer. Ginger Brute! Oh, it's in the set. Okay, of course it's in the set. I thought it was like a list card for a moment. Ginger Brute. Grasp of Fate when it EDBs for each opponent exile up to one target non land permanent that controls. Okay, cool. Ingenious Prodigy, Skulk. Ooh, it ATBs with X plus one plus one counters on it. Beginning of your upkeep, if it has counters on it, you may remove and if you do draw a card. This is also going into Goldberry Proliferate. Howling Galefang. Has haste as long as you have an adventure in exile. Stormkeld Vanguard, speaking of, you get bear down. He 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 he. And it, it's not a bear. It just sends a bear at you. Galphanic Giant. Draw four cards and discard two. Whenever you cast a spell that's large, tap target creature and put a stun counter on it. Nice. Charm Clothier. 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 Clothing person. Bah. Warrior token for target creature. Okay. Cool. It gives protection to people. Protective parents. Oh no! When they die, something gets something gets a young hero and they die. Reason plays. Three stun counters. Stairmaster Sprite. Yep, we got one of those earlier. And into the Fae Court, draw three cards, create a blue, 1-1 one, one blue fairy token, a forest, and who is this? Oh, this is a Rhystic Study. I mean, it's the odd card, but it's a Rhystic Study. This is very pretty. It's not a Rhystic Study, but I actually prefer this over... I mean, I prefer a Rhystic Study. But I also like this. I may just play it as a Rhystic Study because everyone knows what's on a Rhystic Study, right? Alrighty. Oh, I have a. It's not a. It's not a. Li, uh, is it a list card? Oh no! It's um. It's one of the uh. It's one of the uh living uh, the. Whatever the Walking Dead cards. There we go. Um, as it enters the battlefield, choose two abilities from among First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Humans you control have each of the chosen abilities. Oh, wait! 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 Is this Rick? Is this a super expensive one that hopefully is no longer super expensive now, as we, now that it's reprinted? Gallant Pyrrhuda. Yep. Utopia Sprawl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good card. Spectre of Morality. That's a rare. Another old flutter fang. Dutiful Griffin. It's a griffin with duty. Hee hee hee. Threat bind click. Destroy target tap creature. Interesting. Rip the seams. I like that. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the odd. It's literally a bunch of um, fairies with thread. That's really cute. Picklock Prankster. 
Corvo and the Noble Thief, not an actual Corvo. Truenvale Guy, or another celebration. I don't really like the celebration mechanic, at least of now. I haven't really played it yet, but we spoke by Battle God. Oh, okay. A plus two plus O oh, and free equip for with celebration. Grand Bar Guest. And a shiny mountain. And this is Oh, this is cute. Uh, what is this one? It's a stab wound. It's cute. Look at that. It's like a donut. Time to open up. It's a magic mini game. Wow, the most useless card. Bellowing Bruiser, Feed a Path, Fall Forward Haste. Okay. Um, a Dark Tutelage. Grotesserie Elemental, that's really cute. Skewers, Chance Chancellor of Tales. It's for Grateful Adventure. Agatha's champion, when it ETB civil bargains, it fights. Picnic Runum, it's a goblin. Ruby Daring tra Tracker. Water Wings, oh, Water Wings, I get it. This is funny, ha ha ha. Um, okay, the Hexproof part, and Flying and Hexproof. Makes this very interesting. Skewer Slinger. I want Skewers now. I want Skewers now. Um, Star Powering Celebrant. Minecart Dead Devil. And a Forest. And this is... Court of Lothrain. That's pretty. And now... We have an Elven Palisade. Sack of Forest. Target attacking creature gets minus three minus one to enter turn. I'm sure there are decks for which this is great. I don't own any of them. Um, list cards go here, I guess. Ice out. Blood Moon. Oh, oh, oh. This is Confetti Foil Blood Moon. I, I think. Yeah. Okay, I feel like Confetti Foil Blood Moon needs, uh, like, some kind of protective sleeve, right? And Ariad of the Charm Apple. This is the odd I like better because I am a useless lesbian. Witch Stalker Frenzy, Two Headed Hunter, Boundary Lands Ranger. Frantic Fireball. X, X damage with X is 2 plus the number. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Interesting. Unruly Catapult. Oh, this is one of those, like, uh, you, one of those, like, gutter snipe, but you have to tap kind of thing. Living Lantern. Living Lectern. Sackage or card create a sorcerer role. Activate only as a sorcery. It's not a defender. Interesting. Burden Outrider. Bell Horseman. Oh, this is the Pretty Mountain. And Garrick's Uprising. I am happy about that Blood Moon. I don't know what it's worth, but it's definitely pretty. Like, I'm never going to play a Blood Moon. That's just not the kind of vibe that I bring to the table. But it's still very pretty. <gasps> bop! Bop, 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 Look at this bird. It's a good bird. Okay, I'm done. Uh, Ariette's Whisper. Stab Wounds. Speaking of Stab Wounds. Oh, the hold on. The Blood Moon should have gone in this pile. Did I, were there other enchanted tales cards that I 
didn't put in the correct pile. No, I'm good. Alrighty. Oh, look! It's the white crater hoof, Moonshaker Calvary. I kind of want to run this card, but I don't have a deck that can run this card. Or that, like, wants to run this card. Because all my white decks have, like, very specific themes. And Moonshaker Cavalry is, for example, not a cat. And, yeah, I don't know. Throne of Eldrain. We did it. We set the name. We set the thing. Throne of Eldrain. This is really good. I love this. I love this card. Gingerbread Hunter. Three Bowls of Porridge, which is a very flavorful card, pun intended. Discerning Financier. This is going into my, um, this is going into my Silver and Trin deck. I'm hoping for one. Territorial Witch Stalker. Leaping Ambush. Boing. Hollow, Hollow Scavenger. Francis Transmuter. A Plains. And, oh, this is pretty. It's an Omniscience. It's the Omniscience Art Cut. It, it's so pretty. If I do pull an Omniscience, I kind of want to put it in my Nira deck. I also kind of don't, because it's... It's a good... It's a fun card to play with, but not against, if that makes any sense. Okay, well... Look at this mouse! It's so cute! It has a little berry! Tatterata! Prismatic Omen! Ooh! 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 Nice! Five color domain? Yeah! <gasps> Where Fox Body God? I am a useless furry lesbian and I love this cup. The Witch's Vanity? Which is vanity, which is vanity. Curse caught here. Okay. So it comes cursed, but you can bargain the curse away to make it into a 3 3. That's cute. Taken by Nightmares, Exile Target Creature. If you control an enchantment, you square two. Edge wall in. It ATB's tapped. Okay. It's a mana fixing land that also you can sack to return adventure to your hand. Tango Span Lookout, Aquatic Alchemist, Besotted Knight. I keep wanting to call this Knotted Knight because I'm a terrible person. Ferocious Red Fox, a Shiny Island, and this is Evolving Wilds. Oh, this is a nice Evolving Wilds. Pretty. Like, not an actual Evolving Wilds. You know what I mean. Alrighty. What's next? Bragros representative. You get an extra vote when voting. Oh, oh, it's this one. Bespoke battle gap. We had one. Polluted bonds. Whenever in land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player loses two life and you gain two life. I th is this a Hold on. Is this a confetti foil as well? I think so. I think it may be. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some weird pattern on it. I'm going to sleeve it just in case. And also, polluted bonds is fun anyway. Um, What is this? Grand Seal. When an EDB draw a card... Cards in Graveyard can't be the target of spells or abilities. Scalding Viper! Graceful Tickdown! Oh wait, Scalding Viper is a rare. Just see what it does, actually. Um, Steam Clean! Return target thing to, a per to an o its owner's hand, and whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value 3 or less, it deals 1 damage to that player. Like, suck it, uh, 
uh, the, the, the companion that Luris, second Luris, Shroud of Shepherd, Woodland Aquilite, Commune with Nature, Feed the Cauldron, Scream Puff. It's like a cream puff, but it screams. Curse of the Werefox, yes, please. And Island. And this is a signed uh, Verdant Outrider. Cute. Okay, we have another list card, Auromancer's Guys. It's an enchantment for Aura decks. Nice. Spreading Seas, ATB Straw Card, Enchanted Lanterns and Island, and a shiny. <gasps> Greater Auromancy Anime. Uh, I think this may be Glitter Foil. Yeah, it is. Uh, enchanted Creature you, you control have. Sh uh, creatures you control have Shroud. Nice. So, this is getting a sleeve. Blind Obedience, Exhort, Extort, sorry. Yeah, I, I feel like this is going into the area deck. Not a foil. Farsight Ritual, bargain. Look at the top four cards. If it was bargain, look at the top eight cards. Put two in your hand and the rest in a random order. But on the bottom in a random order. Cool. Royal Treatment. Sir Amar, the Redeemer. Red Tooth Vanguard. Minstrosity, the pun game is strong. Red Tooth Genealogist, Bestial Bloodline. Hopeful Visual Mountain. And. Ooh, pretty. Hot Flame Duelist. Swords. So many swords. Okay. More cards. I'm gonna. Take some more packs out of the box and put them here for easy access. Got a mouse. Squeak, squeak. Thread by and click again. Season of growth. Likeness looter. Ego dream. Target opponent views their hand. Okay. So this mix. So you need you would need to exile your own card if you play at turn one. That's actually interesting. Yeah, because you can you can remove any land land cards, so it's pretty powerful otherwise. Fairy fencing. Mm -hmm. So more fairy typo cards. Monstrous Rage. Once again, I really like this card. Amber Veteran. Savior of the EP Slumbering EP Keep Guard Sugar Rush Forest and Italian the Kind Kindy Lord Very pointy Whoop Next I haven't gotten any of the rare lands yet. I mean I'm fine with the rares I've gotten. But this is Another list card, uh, Initiate of Blood and Goku the Unjust. Okay, cool. Tenacious Tone Seeker. If it was bargained, you get to return something to your hand. Dark Tutelage. The Iron Crag. Yes, it's a two mana rock. Also, it has this weird useless ability. Not useless. You know what I mean. It's not the greatest ability, but it's a two mana rock. Fairy fencing. Dream spoilers. Fairy dream thief. The stinkful stroke. Archive dragon. War two. When it enters the battlefield, scry two. Sting blade assassin. This is very pretty. I may just make a fairy deck just with the fairy pretty fairies. Also, I kind of don't have a Demir deck, and I should play Demir at some point. And Agatha's Fire Cauldron. Huh. 
Oh, there's like a little notch on this guy. I didn't realize I could open it that way. Try it with the next pack. Akbar Mouser! This was one of the first cards I ever bought as a single to build a Cat Commander deck that I promptly took out because it was bad. Quick study. Draw two cards. Okay. Dawn of Hope. Whenever you gain life, you may play two if you do draw a card. And then you can also make a lifelink. Okay. Virtue of Knowledge. It's like it's Crypto Mommy Con, but not really. It's more like a pool. Yay. I'm out of sleeves I have lying around. I feel like this needs a sleeve. Um, let's see. Do I have... Oh, I do have more random sleeves lying around. And then we have Experimental Confectioner. Up the Beanstalk. Up your Beanstalk. Trojan Gussie Explorer. Tempest Heart. Witch's Mark. Okay, discard a card to draw two cards and you get a Wicked Row. Interesting. Diminish a Witch. Bark it. You can curse something. Cool. If you bargain. Sweet Tooth Witch. And Barrow Naughty, Plains Full of Briars, and oh, this is Greater Oromancy. This is very pretty. Alrighty. Yeah, another useless thing. Sweet Tooth Witch, Season of Growth, Food Fight. This is not the um not the not the Strixhaven one. Like I thought there was a Strixhaven uh flavor text. This is not it. Never stalked by nightmares. When she ETBs, return target creature or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. And whenever an enchantment you control is put into a graveyard, get a one way counter then a scry run. Ariette's tempting apple. Stone Splitter Bolt. It's a fireball that you can double by sacrificing a food. Collector's Vault. Oh, this is going into... Collector's Vault is definitely going into my um, Rashmi and Ragavan deck. Just nudging these nice, to a nicer place. Frolicking Familiar. Cooped up. Sleight of Hand. Which, according to Tolarian Community College, is a card that will change Pioneer or whatever, something. I don't play Pioneer. Titanic Growth. Swamp. And... Ooh! Signed by Elena Dana, one of my favorite artists. Edgewall in. Oh, right, I was going to try using the... The Rippy... <gasps> Yes, it didn't work very well. On an adventure. Shiny Disdainful Stroke. Curiosity. Enchant creature when it deals damage to an opponent. You may draw a card. Thunderous debut. Bargain. It's like a tutor. Oh, it's like a double tutor. Huh, cool. Hearth Elemental. Johan, Apprentice Sorcerer. Splishy Splashy Spellcaster. Return from the Wilds. Spider Food. Candy Trail. Square Two. And oh, it's a food. Haha, <laughs> it's a food clue. Oh my god, it's a food clue. It's a food clue. It's both a food and a clue. Spell Stutter. Obrious Attendance. Mountain. And Gnawing Crescendo. Let's see. 
we have a food. I've gotten considerable, not very many food tokens given that, you know, the whole food thing going on. Hollow Scavenger, a Kindred Discovery, and I think it's a glittery one. Like, I love this Kindred Discovery, but it's not as good as the bird one from CLB. I'm sorry, because the only uh, the only typo deck I play now is my bird deck. Moss with Dread Knight. Moss with Dread Knight. Two Moss with Dread Knights. I'm not complaining. Malevolent Rich Kite. Okay, cool. That Rick's first duel. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Back for second. So I guess the candy theme is uh, Golgari. Uh, Sky Beast Tracker. Storm Cow Prowler. Scarecrow Guide. A Plains. And a Unnatural Growth. Pretty. Pulling out more packs. Is that? Yes, that's a doubling season, except not. Useless mini game. I'd rather have a token. Voracious vermin. It, a wrap. Num num. Shared animosity. Hmm. Well, goblin decks could use this. Hatching plans. Horn lock whale. It's a whale. Also has Flash, which is actually pretty cool. Amo Dane's Recruiter, Gallant Pyreuta, Stroke of Midnight, Unassuming Sage, Moment of Valor. It is a destroy. Okay, it's one of those destroy something with high power. Toast you admire. War 2. Oh, it's a 1-1 one -one with War 2. And also, um, you can put Canos on it. Evolving Wilds, Plains, and yes, Doubling Season. Like, I, I mean, honestly, I'm just going to play this as Doubling Season. Like, why not? Who's going to stop me? Competitive REL if, at my casual table? Also, it's just Goose. Also, hello, friend. Welcome to the chat. Food token, finally, another food. Etch will in. Like, I just love Elena Dennis land arts. They keep having her do lands, and it makes me happy. Unnatural growth. I really need to make a green stompy deck at some point. Yenna, Red Tooth Region, the other commander I really want to build from this set. Storyteller Pixie, Ash, who is not Cinderella, Belligerent of the Ball. Yes, the I really love this art, and actually we just pulled the um we pulled this guy earlier. It is very pretty. Like just a small wolf, large wolf. Very, very sad night. Howling Gelfang, Mary Bot, Shadow the Oath, Ariette's Whisper, Wood Rider. Shadow the Oath should be like. It's a black sorcery. The short target creature enchantment create a wicked roll. This should be a signature spell in an Oathbreaker deck. Planes. And also, this is a. Cooped up. Oh, fairies cooped up. That's sad. He's gonna die. Alrighty. Got like maybe 10 more packs to open. Let's do this. A rat. This is a cute rat. How real cute rat. Water wings, top tier pun. Hydro loft. That's a good spell name. Impact tremors. I. I have so many of these. 
Hot Flame Duelist. Instant and sorcery spells you control have life link. I was like, this is one of the singles I was gonna buy if I didn't pull, because I'm gonna put this in a spell slinger deck. A borrow spell slinger deck. Dream spoilers. Very dream thief. Never. Storm Cal Vanguard, who is not a bear. Not a bear. I'm annoyed still. Galphanic Giant. Murphy Coral Smith. Plunge into Winter. Crystal Grotto. And a Swamp. And this is. What is this one? Oh, it's Hatching Plans, which I want to keep saying is Hatchling Plans. Um, so the rat tokens have a little raspberry. The mouse tokens also have a berry, but it's a different one. So the mouse tokens have like a little berry on a tree. They are all very cute. A plus with pet. Even though they may... Well, they don't have death touch, right? No, the rats have death touch, so they actually do have the plague. But, like, it's 2023. Who doesn't have the plague? Yes, I love them both, too. They are so good. Assign hatching plants of another food. Intrepid Truffle Snap. Truffle Snap. When it attacks alone, create a food token. Num num. Griffinary. Okay, this is good for both food and um, life gain decks. Extraordinary Journey. Okay. You exile things, people can... So it's kind of like exiling to hand, because they can still play them, or bouncing to hand, but um, you get to draw a card if they do that. Because it's an enchantment. That's interesting. Gumdrop Poisoner, Disdainful Shook, Archive Dragon... Up the Beanstalk, Pathetic Prism, Not That After All, which I think is a great name, Conceited Witch, Kellen's Light Blades, An Island, and Hatching Plans, that is signed. Mm. Boop! We have a Kellen, Hard Card. We have Hanks, Slayer Zealot. This is another one of those uh, Walking Dead cards, I think. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent creates three Walker tokens, the zombies. Um, the, the, the deal two damage to target creature whenever a zombie an opponent control dies. Uh, you draw a card. Hmm. Interesting. Not Rick, but interesting. Nightly Valor, Enchant Creature, you get a... It gets plus two, plus two in Vigilance, and you make a Knight. Oversoul Cemetery. The beginning of your upkeep, if you have four more creature cards in your graveyard, you can put one back in your hand. It's not oversold when... If Geese is around. Curiosity. The end. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Searches controller's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name... Ask that permanent and exile them. This, this is not great. It is not great for Commander. It is amazing, I'm guessing, for Standard, because you play this and you're like, screw your Shieldrits. Screw all your Shieldrits. Like, they play a Shieldrit on turn four, you play it on turn 5 or your turn 4, and all their shieldrits go away. I like that. Trillion. Tempest Hunt. Collector's Vault. Torch the Tower. Rhyme for a Reindeer. Ice Out. Kindred Heroism. Island. And Kellen the Fae Blooded. Oh. Wrong direction. There we go. Got more packs in the box. More packs in the box. Doopity doop doop. More packs in the box. 
But yeah, I am looking forward to seeing how the end will work. Because I play Ozov in Standard when I'm not playing Red Deck Wins. So that's an instant slot in. Anyway, a food. Devouring Sugar Maw. Have for dinner. Create a 1 1 white human creature token and a food token. Manage Trample. At the beginning of the upkeep, you may sacrifice an enchantment, artifact, or token if you don't tap it. Interesting. Doesn't fit the human only theme in my um, Silver and Trin deck, other than Silver, of course, but I may put it in anyway. Compulsion? Garrick's Uprising? Sir Ginger the Meander! Succumb to the cold. What is this? Tap something, put a stun counter on them. Ice Rot Sentry. When it attacks, you can tap things, and when you tap something, it gets plus two plus one. Sharae of the Numbing Sharae of the Numbing Depths. When she enters the battlefield, tap a creature an opponent controls and put a stun counter on it. Okay. Candy Grapple! Hopeless Nightmare. Wicked Visitor. Oh, Warehouse Tabby, Warehouse Tabby. It's a cat with all the rats. The cat is going to die because of all the rats, but it's still cute. Island? And, oh, what is this? This is a curiosity. Oh, I pulled a curiosity just now. Just... The full art is so pretty. Warehouse Tabby. It's a cat. Meow. All right, treasure. Is that a, is that a bit of blossom? That's a bit of blossom. The card that is too expensive to be include to be reprinted in the fairy free card. It's a bit of blossom and I think it's foil. Let's see if I have any more sleeves lying around. Um, gonna take let's cultivate out of the sleeve and put that bit of blossom in the sleeve a little bit of blossom um intangible virtue elusive otter distribute counters among any number of target creatures you can draw because simic powers because simic interpret truffle snail solitary sanctuary Bitter Chill, Tenacious Tomb Seeker, Hamlet Gotten. Yeah, it's Bitter Blossom. Isn't it amazing? It's so pretty. Also, like, you know, it's a really, really good card. Brave the Winds, Rowan Scrim Search, I Need to Read the Story, Gnawing Crescendo, Planes, and we have Frantic Firebolt. Doo -doo -doo. And human, 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 more like food for the fairies and all rats. Greta, sweet tooth scourge. Waste not. Restless fortress. Just was talking about not having one of these lands yet. Um, do, 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 do. One four black nightmare and it drains. Okay, that's the creature it turns into. Ashok Sweeper, High Fae Negotiator, Soul Guy Lantern. Oh, this is a very pretty Soul Guy Lantern. Focus, there we go. Spell Scorn Coven. Troublemaker, oof. Grabby Giant. Rep Cap Thief. Harry Sphere God. A very, very pretty forest. And a Blossoming Tortoise. Friend.
friend, slow friend, royal young hero, cut in, dragon mantle. When the EV shows draw a cut, oh, it gives a thing. It gives a thing dragon breathing. That's why right, this guy. Archon of the Wild Rose, creature Archon. Flying, other creatures you control that have enchanted by auras have base power and toughness 4 4 and have flying. You know, this is. We have come so far since Sarah Angels. We have come so far. Restless Cottage. Yes, it's a full art. Also, it is black, the black green one. Um, it turns into a 4 4 black and green horror, and when it attacks, create a food token. And exile a card from graveyard. That's really nice. Eerie interference. Prevent all damage should be dealt to you. And creatures you control this turn by creatures. It's like a shitty Teferi's protection. Glass casket. That's a reprint from the last Eldrain set. The princess takes flight. Oh, glass casket is white. Oop. Knight of doves. E -do 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 rat out. Voracious vermin. Edgewall Pack, Island, and Chord of Ventress, Upside Down. There we go. Yeah. That is... I think the anime greater Oromancy, maybe? No. You got the uh, anime Greater Oromancy. Which one is this? It is uh, the Greater Oromancy. So I guess the one I pulled wasn't the anime one. But this is also very pretty. Look at this. I really like... I love that they're putting um the anime out on the art cards. Rat. Collector's Vault. But shiny. Goblin Bombardment. Sack a creature. Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to any target. Sentinel of Lost Lore. When it ETBs, choose one or more. Return target card you own and exile as an adventure to your hand. Put target card you don't own and exile that has an adventure on the bottom of its owner's library or exile target player's graveyard. Interesting. Bernard Ginger Sculptor. Yay. <gasps> I know, it's like I pull Mythic Rare. Yay. And I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. And then I'm like, <gasps> cheeky. House mouse, cheeky house mouse. It's the best two one vanilla. Cheeky house mouse. Um, twisted sewer witch, Tatarata, Archon's glory, rat catcher trainee, armory mice. They're not cheeky, but they're still mice. Flick a coin. And mountain. I was like, where did the art card go? I already put it down there. Okay, let's see. I have three more packs left. Let's see if we get any geese. Because boy, would it be fun if we got some geese. Some m m, -m moti geese. Royal and young hero. Conceited witch. Another Spreading Seas. Another Nightly Valor. <gasps> Imodane! The Imodane, the lesbian pyromancer, who is... I haven't read the story, but apparently she is super cool, and everyone loves her. Totem Tense. Lord Skittish Butcher. Carry your Cell Sword. Break the Spell. She okay, she is not actually kissing him on the mouth. Because I'm like, he's 16 or 14 or whatever. Um Johan Stopgap. Why is the conceited rich in the wrong pile? There we go. Quick study. Cut in. A very pretty island. And Shire of Num Shire of Numbing Deaths. Two more. Pack was stuck.
Adventure? Court of Arg a Court of Arden Vale. So this is our, actually our foil. When at EDBs you become the monarch, at the beginning of your upkeep, return target permanent card with value value three or less from your graveyard to your hand. If you're the monarch, put it in the battlefield. Vampiric Rites. Asinine Antics. You may cast it as it as though it had flash if you pay two more. For each creature your opponents control, turn it into a 1 1 because you're cursing it. Tempting Apple. Frolicking Otter Wizard. Hearth Elemental. Johan. Return Triumphant. Charm Clothia. Protective Parents. Frost Bridge God. A very pretty swamp. And an Omniscience Art. Oh, this is very good Omniscience Art. I also got the non-anime one, but this is very good too. Actually, I like this better because I'm a weeb. weeb. Okay. Last pack, I believe. Useless ad card, boink. Pests of honor, mice. They dash, then dine. Griffinary again. <gasps> Rego Bunnicorn! The best bunny. Tristed Fealty. Knight of the Sweets Revenge. Tough Cookie. Knight EDB's create a food token. Target non creature artifact you control becomes a 4 4, and you can eat it. Cool. Greta. Ginger Brood. Beanstalk Rum, Balloon and Skatekeeper, Bellowing Bruiser. Okay, so Balloon is the girl boss, she's the gatekeeper. Bunny. Swamp and Moss with Dread Knight. Which we got two of in one pack earlier. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Hold on a second. I'm confused. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, that is 30. Um, Let's look at our... Rare Pile, I think. I don't actually know the prices of any of these, any of these cards, but I feel like Callion's probably a good pull. One of our first two pulls. One of, actually, one of in the first pack. Um, Full Art Area, it's a nice pull. Greymon, probably a nice pull. Um, I don't know how the reprint is going to demolish the prices, but definitely a nice pull. It's just a good card. Then we have regular area, just looking through the mythics. Oh, Moonshaker Cavalry. Yep, that was immediately sleeved. Throne of Eldraine, which I just love. Werefox Bodyguard, just, yeah. I mean. Let's see, I think those are the only, oh, Iron Crack. A uh, Virtue of Knowledge, that's another mythic we pulled. And I think that's it with the, at least the Mythics. Um, and yeah, I, like there's some other fun cards in here, but like none that I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, I guess Bernard's a Mythic. I don't care for it personally, but, oh, and Asinine Antics. But I don't know how much they're actually worth or how good they are, but they, they're, they're Mythics. And in this stack, there's a lot of um, uncommons, but definitely, um, I think Bitter Blossom, uh, Foil, I think, I can't actually tell, I have to like look at it closer, but it's a Bitter Blossom regardless. And... Unnatural Growth is a good one. Kindred Discovery, that's a very good one. 
Do 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 season. Greater Oraman. See, yeah. So this is the non-anime art, I think. Yeah, this is non-anime art. Polluted blonde, polluted bonds, which I believe is a confetti foil. Blood Moon. Yeah, I think Blood Moon was the first really good um, enchantment that we got from the stack. Okay, cool. That is the box. I have opened the box. It's filled with cards. On that note, thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm going to stop streaming slash recording and going to go drink a water because I like talk for an hour or something. Okay, bye.